Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel once again. Keith here from Come On The Hoops. If this is your first time coming across the channel, I would kindly ask if you could like and subscribe or even comment below, would be appreciated. If you want to win a league, you come against teams that will frustrate you and you come up with the goods and you win games, scrappy or very comprehensive. It has been a roller coaster of a season so far for Celtic. We go to Perth last week and score six and a clean sheet. We go to Dortmund midweek and get humped 7 1 in the Champions League. Two with Champions League finalists, by the way. And you go to Dingwall today after a European hangover and expect a response. The first 80 minutes of the game was absolutely shocking. You know, lackluster passing, trying to get up the flanks. Ross County parking the bus as they would. And look at Ross County deserved the respect. They were very organised today. They had their chances against us. And unfortunately, we did concede our first league goal this season. And you know what? Seven games in, that's not bad for Kasper Schmeichel. It's not bad for the defence. I know Austin Trusty. I thought he played actually pretty decent today. You know, considering he did get absolutely smashed around against Dortmund midweek. But I thought he played really comprehensive, had a fight in him, a bit of spirit in him, looked like he picked up an injury and then he fought on. I thought he'd done really well. Liam Scales gave away a penalty and look, there's no dispute about it. It was a Stonewall penalty. His arm was up. It was contact. It was a penalty. Kevin Clancy gave the penalty. VAR obviously interrupted and it was decision was done. Kasper Schmeichel saved the penalty from Hale, but Kasper was off his line. And it was a retake and they scored a nice goal against us. Nice finish at the end of the day. But there wasn't doubt in the game. There was no doubt for me sitting there, even 60 minutes in. Once we made them changes with Luke McCown, Bernardo and James Forrest, it changed it around. Even with Cuyogo. I know Cuyogo wasn't the most comprehensive, but it's the, the work ethic from the team. That's the most important. And look at Nicholas Cohn. He had a really good game. Alistair Johnston was in the right place when Callum McGregor took the shot and a hit off Alistair in. And I was feeling all week, I was like, oh, Alistair Johnston, after the Dortmund game, will he be fit? And he was outstanding today. I thought he's woke right with Nicholas Cohen. I thought him crossing the ball. And look, it was unfortunate for days in Maeda. He had chance upon chance, but it's a collective. And it wasn't the most exciting watch, as we've seen. But Nicholas Cohen, bit of magic. Nice ball by Alistair Johnston and for Cohn to actually slot it in and finish it, it just shows this guy is going to go strength to strength as a Celtic player. Some fans will say, well, Keith, he needs to turn up in the Champions League. He will turn up. He will turn up. We're against an opposition maybe that are absolutely class. It's the reason why they got to the Champions League final. And there is a, I feel like there's a bit of burnout out the squad. A little bit of burnout. out. The international break is coming. Some of the players will go off and represent their countries. And look at Ernie Ingalls wasn't at it today and I'm not going to criticise the guy too much because I thought he's been absolutely outstanding since he came in the door and some players have bad days and it's about players that can come off the bench like Luke McCown, dictate the game, Bernardo gets stuck in and look, I, I thought it would have been an Adam Eadie, you know, double today but it wasn't, wasn't meant to be. It's three va valuable points that we look back in the end of the season and say, you know what, Dean Wall has always been difficult for us. We've seen it back in Angers for a season where Ralston came up with the stoppage time winner. And Ross County, respect is there for them. They they have given us a game this season. And I think we will, you know, find it difficult to go there if we do have to go there in the second part of the season and get a result again. But it's three big points. My man of the match would have to be Alistair Johnson. I thought he was outstanding. I thought from back to front getting up that box, providing that assist, scoring that goal. You know, Callum McGregor pushing the team at half, half time. And we don't realise what goes on behind the scenes in the dressing room. We've seen the last year that Brendan Rodgers said it was one of his most difficult team talks he's ever had when we were training to Ross County and we came back and won that. And there will be games this season where we might scrape a 1-0 or 2-1 because we're coming off this high of winning 6-0 the previous week against St. Johnston, beating a team in the Champions League 5-1. You know, the hunger's there. The demand will always be there. 
as a Celtic supporter. But sometimes we need to come back to re realistic terms that it's not always going to be the most expansive football. Alex Vele, you thought he start, thought he done well for Greg Taylor today. It is what it is. It's three points. It's going to be a slow week with international football being on. But we can look back and say, you know what? Two international breaks in, top of the league, 20, 22 goals scored so far in the league. We're into the League Cup semi-final. We have three points on the on the board in the Champions League format. And we talk about the fee. One defeat so far this season. It's been a really good season so far, folks. So let us know in the comments what you think. Do subscribe to the channel. And I'll speak to you all soon. Hell, hell.